And we're back, continuing on. So, you know, getting a little lost dealing with, like, the circus and dealing with some, like, tough enemies and some odd, uh, you know, anomalies. We managed to be one guy, and now I regret not uh, getting more gears because I could have bought some cool stuff. But we're looking around. So now we're kind of, it's locked. The keyhole plays shaped like a fish. Well, great. I guess... I thought there would be immediately something to do there, but apparently not. So we got to look around some more. Um, great. What do we do now? Okay. That was just looking. Shame like a fish, shape like a right hand. I know right hand, not left hand, like we got. I was just wondering, it's like, maybe it's weird where you can like take the thumb off and do something with it. Nope. Okay, uh, I guess not here yet, so. <clears throat> well, let's take a look at, hold on. I was just wondering if maybe that could break. Okay. So there must be something new to do. So let's see what we got. What we got? Keys, pulse meter. What does this do? It's like, what is that used for? Okay. We must need it for something. I just can't think of anything off the top of my head. So let's investigate. I don't know. Barb door. Do they not like pulses? No. Symbol of a tree. Yeah, this was the kitchen with the big guy, but it doesn't look like it's around now. Oh, a couple of t uh, tooth wheels. Cool. Uh, enough to get a new item, at least. Because then we got to get cog wheels. It's interesting, you know, having an RE game that's kind of like, you know, very heavily currency based. I don't suppose. Nope, still nothing. Nope. Okay, I'm just not sure where to use that. <clears throat> well, that way leads us back to the fun house, and, you know, we could kill some stuff there to get, um, some cogs, but <clears throat> I don't know if that's what we need to do. Looks like an eye. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm just debating. Well, we got enough for... I'm curious. If we're going into the water, I'm guessing... Also, I just want to see how it looks, because it looks like it, like a metallic one... Or bikini. Or a one's uh, swimsuit. Sorry. What the heck is this? Okay. Okay. I'll, fine. <laughs> Whatever. We have a little less armor now, but let's take a look. Sorry, I fumbled my words. I'm just like, okay, I'm just... This room wasn't this clean before. Box of Martin shots, okay. 
So something changed. What if we go back to the room where we woke up? How did I get here? How long have I been out? This is where we found the gun. Okay. So at least this room changed. To at least be cleaned up. Nothing else here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's take a look. And this isn't a complaint, it's just sort of like, also kind of like classic RE, just like, um, like, leaning into the fan service. And it's like, that's fine, it's just like, yeah, I'm just surprised. Of all the things, you know, with the dollhouse, Alice in Wonderland aesthetic, I did not expect, um, you know, like, metal scale swimsuit armor. I mean, it goes hard with the, uh, saber out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot there was, um, ammo back here when I was running through again. Oh, I bet we need to put the teeth emblem in that. I bet. Um, now I spent all my, uh, money on a swimsuit I didn't need. Uh... My mother escaped. She is roaming the hallways in search of me. It's possible that she senses a similarity between us. So watch out. She will try to catch you. Okay. So my mother... Okay. So who left a note up for us? Or someone is actively leaving notes for us. This isn't just like... Picking up the pieces from, you know, everyone gone and dead. I forgot. Oh, shoot. I can't reload the weapon. Throw more cogs, I can use a couple more. Sorry, I just heard the moan. I'm waiting for like her to pop out again. So they won't let me do that again. I'm trying to think of what this pulse meter could be for. I'm debating. What am I forgetting about, or what else can we do? At least we need more cogs. So is there anything I missed or anything else we can do to get a couple more cogs? Because I'm thinking we need um, some to buy that, like, tooth marker and then we can put it in that um that spot next to the fun house or you know leading into the fun house but I need a couple more gears nope that ain't gonna work okay
oh, we're wearing an outfit that doesn't have shoes. That's quite funny, actually. <laughs> that is an amazing detail. Yeah, eight sheep and ten. Oh, the, okay, wait a second. I just realized, like, eight and ten, ten and eight. Oh, it says, uh, eight small sheep, ten big sheep. So that means long, you know, um, minute, or, yeah, minute hand on the big sheep to ten, and the small one to eight. Oh, I wonder. Oh, I wonder what output I will get from this clock. Wait. Okay, there's that box where we had that clown sneak up on us. So, two... Well, I'm not sure what's the first number exactly, but we know it's two, two, five, four, four in some order. So... room here and I'll bet you something else is back now oh Jesus Christ maybe she's gone Ugh, Jesus Christ sorry of all the things I didn't expect her to be there small blue cabinet with some sheet painted on it okay so, okay, so, I don't know, let's try two, four, five, nope, it's some combination, I'm just not sure what the order would be. I was thinking. No. It'll probably open. I'm just trying to think. There we go. Clock hands. Sorry, I'm just trying to like, I don't know, wasn't sure. It's like, it's these combination numbers, but just where do they start? Now to make sure she didn't come into the room. Because that loud moaning is very unsettling. The theme changes when she's around, so... I don't know if it's random or she appears in certain places at certain times. But definitely should just avoid her. I don't think we can fight her. Stop it.
Okay. Yeah. Listen to the music cues. I swear to God, if she's in here, <laughs> we're like... Okay. See what happens when I install these. Okay. So... Uh, I'm just thinking... Because okay, because yeah, my thought process was ten and eight sheep are painted on the walls, a small eight small sheep, and ten big sheep. So I was thinking like setting it to 810, but there's only four of these marked, so. <clears throat> and I'm trying to think. Yeah, that's three, six, nine. Okay, wait, I didn't send it back far enough. Sorry, hold on. <clears throat> so, you know, get it pointing to where they should be. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I just had to get to line up just right. I key. There we go. Uh, now, where did I need this I key? Um, okay, sorry. I've spent way too long messing with this. It's like, do I gotta line it up right? Apparently, you did. God damn it, go away. I was gonna say, that time made her pop out. Okay, I key. Now where do the eyes go? Don't mark the doors, it's give me an idea on. Okay, back to the let's see. One of the doors, at least one we found for sure, was up back by a pole. There's nothing in here after clearing that out. Okay. <clears throat> Shoot. Got a little cocky there. Oh, are you kidding me? Sneak by. <sighs> Jesus. Who? Oh, God. I was going to say, don't be fancy with me. Okay, new puppets. Hold on. We're gonna take refuge. Like, we're gonna put that back on. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. Now that we got an eye key. Okay. 
You know, hit another touchstone, so now it's new enemy types again. Looks like an eye. Okay. <clears throat> okay. That guy. Hey, come over here. Open this door. You're under arrest. You're one of the Emperor's crows, aren't you? Tell you what, we're all equal here and far away from home. You should forget about those orders. Looks like you've got company there. Shoot. Ah. God damn it. Uh oh. Not dead. Now dead. Nope, not dead. Can't see him. Okay. Very hurt. T handle. There's something unusual about this bookshelf. The books are stuck, and the book in the middle is missing. We are injured. Oh, wait, there's some Martin rounds, it looks like. I saw you hiding there. Welcome. Not ideal, but thank you. <sighs> Welcome. Depending. I should save up, yeah. but We got auto aim. Well, okay. Oh, yes. We didn't do much, but we'll just save. <clears throat> Give our girl a little bit of patchwork. I know, maybe actually I could have bought that dress to make the healing more efficient. Okay, doesn't matter. <clears throat> Portrait of a sad-looking nun. And illustrations of soldiers on horseback. It's locked from the other side. Damn, dead end. Okay. What was that thing? A T-handle? What is that attached to? I'm trying to think. There is a big open book on the stand. The open page reads, Thanks to Dr. Pierre Ed Edmiston, invest in invention of this tooth wheel, we were able to build a construction that move personal personnel to different levels of this building. There are two cabins moving through a single elevator shaft. Okay. So does that mean this is just one... <coughs> Okay. We saved. I got one idea. <coughs> Sorry. I was going to say, I'll save up for a little bit just to see if anything pops up. No, yeah. I think we need reward. Oh, yes. Oh, the pulse meter was supposed to be there. I was wondering if we had to, like, bring back a piece of equipment. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, taking stock. Let's see, where, what are we doing? <clears throat> it was this way. Now I'm thinking put the teeth in that... I just don't want her coming from either direction. Whoops. I'm guessing this is where the teeth go, at least I hope so. This is an odd dress. If you want to wear it, you should you shouldn't bring any weapons or clothes. Okay, interesting. Well, we're not too far from anything. I go unless we come in here and then it's full of danger, but out okay <clears throat> so that unlocks a special dress but we got to go there like literally stripped down so no offense just movement so we can do that and do then we get to keep it then whatever it is You know, now that she's got nothing, just the way she runs. Oh dear. <laughs> Sorry, camera. I hear a guy in the kitchen. So I'm looking both ways to see. I was going to say, well, okay, I'm distracted. Look, you know, the detail on that butt, actually. <laughs> Found and equipped the straight jacket. Oh, boy. Can we unequip this? A uh, straight jacket. A uh, remnant of what the House of Fun used to be. 50, 50 defense, campering weapons, built in attacks. Interesting. Ooh, a charge attack. Oh, wrong way. So, but a huge defense boost, so, mmm. Interesting. Like the straps broke and we're using them as whips. Okay, that's pretty metal. <laughs> okay, interesting. <clears throat> yeah, now it's like, can we unequip it? Because it's neat and all, and that defense boost is actually pretty solid, but it limits our capabilities. You know, it's good to have a gun and a melee weapon at, uh, you know, on hand. Okay. Okay, we kept it. That's interesting, though. Okay, well, <clears throat> maybe not worth everything I spent, but you know, we did it. Um, well, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, yes. 
Again, didn't do much, but might as well save while we can. So that's an interesting item. <clears throat> but let's see. Another thing with an eye door. I don't think... No, it was... Come on. Sorry, camera angle kind of changes and gets all wonky. Oop. Because there were no other doors down this way unless something changed up there, which I doubt. Wait a minute. Nope, there was a door up there that was locked from that side, right? Well, hold on. Let's double check. Yeah, there's like a door around that corner, and I can't remember if it's like locked from this side or you need a certain key. shape of the law looks like an eye. Okay, perfect. Because I go, if we can't go back to the water because we still don't have a fish key or anything. Hold that thought. Oh, boy. A lot, uh, a lot of tools and mechanical rubbish. Uh, do I see some sawtooth wheels in that box? A couple of sawtooth wheels. This must be the elevator's engine. It's not working. The hatch door is locked. Okay. Yeah, only a couple of sawtooth wheels. All right, this seems like a sort of a arena of sorts. Oh, God damn it. <clears throat> okay. Okay, he went down a lot faster than the other one. I thought he'd be way tougher. Box of Luis bullets. This must be some kind of loot, um, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> All right. We got the ballerinas. Do we have a med kit? We do not. Just to be safe. Oh, med kit, perfect. I'm just gonna pop that real quick and then try to dance around them. You know, they dance in sequence like that, or move in sequence like that. Oop, oh, okay. I suppose that's how they move, they try to trip you up. Oh, God damn. God damn it, I'm gonna get my shot off and I messed up. God damn it. God damn it. Trying to like jab their shins. Okay. 
Well, we saved not too far from there. Just like, damn it. Okay, let's see. Stock up a little bit more. What can we grab? Welcome. Another box of shells or a med kit. Thank you. Let's try it again. Sorry, we're at time, just like. Get a little bit farther. I got plans tomorrow, so I want to get to bed at a decent time. But, you know, I'm stuck on this, so it's like, I want to see what happens here. <clears throat> at least taking them out would be a good, like, uh, you know, gotta be a good amount of gears, right? Right. All right, we gotta go pick up those gears again. Sorry, trying to run and get some distance. Top of our health before it's too late. It's a bad spot support. Whoops. D run! Run, Alyssa! Oh. Didn't realize I accidentally reloaded. Shoot! I'm trying to like line up the shot. Okay, one down. The other one can't be too far behind, but we are not gonna risk, like, you know, trying to line it up with, uh, saber shots. There we go. Ugh, the annoying thing is, <clears throat> if I can just blast that other puppet. I knew that would happen. Okay. That's my fault. I got cocky. I was genuinely thinking about like, okay, we're going to run away, buy a healing kit, and we'll come back to... No. Okay. I'm going to spare us some time here. I'm going to wrap up for right now. Next time we continue, we'll carry on. I'll have killed those things just to get them out of our way, and then we'll progress and see what's down that other hallway that we were being blocked off by that, um, you know, mother puppet thing. Okay. Okay. It's coming together. Don't get me wrong. I'm really enjoying this. Like, this is a very cool aesthetic. Some of the puzzles are a little wonky, but 
you know, there's some interesting stuff going on here. It's just, man, it's brutal. <laughs> but okay, we'll wrap up here for right now. Next time we continue, carrying on. So, until next time, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off.